This video is intended for adult collectors or adults who want a nostalgia fix, not for kids. Although children may appear in this video, they are in it for review purposes only. If you are a child, please make sure to get your parents' permission before watching and make them watch it with you. ¿Qué onda? This is Hector Canales bringing you a quick unboxing review of 2021's Masters of the Universe Origins line, Stinkor! In other unboxing videos, I've previously stated that I don't have that much room for more toys. So I have to be very picky and choosy as to what I buy and collect. Going to Walmart, I find the new wave of figures and I really want to get the Attorney and Goddess web store, but I had to pick Stinkor. For one thing, product has real smell. It's fun. And look at the little girl's face on the back. That just sold me on it. Going from top to bottom, again, the packaging is beautiful. It's wonderful. It's retro. On the back, look at that art. It's really good. But I do prefer the original Stinkor art. I do feel a little bad unboxing this figure as it is unpunched. But one of my big things is to smell the figure after I... I've unboxed it. I'm actually really excited for this. So, there we go. And here is the comic book he comes with. Let's read through it. The comic ain't bad, but it's also not good. It follows the previous series five comic. He-Man loses his power sword, but it doesn't really matter because he feels in himself that he's powerful or whatever and he doesn't need the power sword anymore to be He-Man. And yeah, it's it's not that good. Comes with this paper. If you didn't know, you can take his head off, his arms off, his legs off, and basically rearrange them and put them on other figures. If you watch my other unboxing videos, you know that I love to unbox classic retro toys and smell them. And since that's kind of my thing to smell brand new toys, well, I can't wait to smell this guy since it says product has real smell and it's fun. Let's just see how much fun it actually is. I know he comes with other accessories, but I've been waiting to smell this guy since I brought him home. All right. I am very disappointed. So disappointed because he smells really good. I'm pretty disappointed because one of the things I wanted to do is get a reaction shot of my daughter and my wife smelling them. But this guy smells good. He smells like a perfectly well brand new toy. Ah, all right. Maybe he comes with something that makes him smell bad. No, just like the original, all he comes with is a shield. I mean, the colors look great. He looks like the classic Stinkor. But I wanted him to stink. I mean, the main reason I bought this guy was because it said he stunk. He's got that picture of the girl like grimacing because of the smell. And he doesn't stink. And he's just a regular figure. He's literally Merman. With a different paint scheme. And not too well of his paint scheme either. Because look at that. Little flub there. On the paint application, it's just Merman painted black, which is a great throwback. The hairy feet here, which makes more sense to a humanoid skunk and not a merman, mermaid guy. I hate the fact that he doesn't stink. He's gonna look cool with the rest of my collection, but again, I really wanted him to stink. I have enough figures. Now I'm looking for like specialty figures. Like a figure that smells bad, purposely smells bad. Not like some figure that's been in storage for a long time and he smells like mold and fungus. I just wanted a gimmicky toy. And I should have gotten Web Store because Web Store comes with a great gimmick. Reminds me of the 1989 Batman where you take out his, his Batarang. I wonder if I could take him back. Stinkor's articulation. Head all the way around. Arm all the way around, elbow joint, wrist joint, waist, hip, knee, and foot. And again, with all the figures, you can take pieces off, rearrange them, 
however you like. And you can make yourself a custom Nightcrawler He-Man. How about that? Taking off his body parts and replacing them and whatnot and making customizations does not make up for stink or not stinking and disappointing me that way. Especially when doing this, he looks like something from Sun Gold. On my final analysis, I wish I wouldn't have gotten him. I don't have that much space for more figures to build up the collection. Now for figures with some sort of gimmick, yes, perfect. I should have gotten a web store. So it doesn't stink. Um, maybe he was supposed to. I don't know. He smells good. Thanks for joining me on this quick unboxing review of the 2021 Masters of the Universe Origins Stinkor. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and check out other videos where I'm not disappointed on buying a figure.